Aloha is directed by Cameron Crowe and stars Bradley Cooper, Emma Stone, Rachel McAdams, and John Krasinski, as well as Bill Murray. I mean, that's a pretty awesome cast and a pretty good director and writer. So I'm expecting a pretty awesome, or at least pretty good movie, right? I'm a big fan of some of Crow's work. I like Say Anything quite a bit. I also like Jerry Maguire quite a bit. I'm really excited to see what he does whenever he makes a movie, because even in his failures, there's always at least some really interesting dialogue from time to time. This movie takes place in Hawaii, with Bradley Cooper as this guy in the military who's there to perform this blessing that's occurring. He knows someone who's well-respected in the Hawaiian community, and Emma Stone plays this young, like, fire and ready to go person. She's there with him and they're trying to figure out how this is all going to go down. Rachel McAdams plays a former flame who now has kids and a husband. And there's sort of a love triangle there, which is always wonderful in movies. Aloha was a big disappointment for me because I go into a Cameron Crowe movie expecting certain things and I go into movies expecting one specific thing and that is called coherence. I like when movies make sense. I like when things happen in the order in which they should happen. Now that being said, it's really cool to see a unique and different movie that's actually original. And there are aspects of Aloha that are like that. There are times throughout this movie where I was like, this is a really different and unique movie. I like this scene. This is a well-written scene. This is good performances. Well, this is really cool. And then the next scene, it's like this random thing that makes no sense. Why is it there? And actors who are doing things in a scene that just don't make sense. It's movie dialogue. And what I mean by that is sometimes you go to a movie and you hear people talking, specifically children in movies, talking, and you're like, they would never say that. A kid would never say that. People would never say that. This is movie dialogue. And that's what a large majority of Aloha feels like. People saying really clever things written by a really clever person. But pushing those things aside, what is one of the most important things that a romantic film should have? Chemistry between the people who are supposed to be romantically involved in some way and it's non-existent between Emma Stone and Bradley Cooper. They might respect each other professionally as actors, but you never feel that flame on screen because a large majority of the movie is Bradley Cooper hating Emma Stone even being there. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to create that feeling. And sometimes in a movie, you can, for instance, as good as it gets with Jack Nicholson and Helen Hunt. These two characters don't really get along for a large portion of the movie, but you're supposed to care about their relationship. And it works so well because of the dialogue and those actors being so good. Here, that similar type of trope between characters where one hates the other person, but the other one's kind of like into him, it just doesn't work because that chemistry, that flame, that intensity, that passion, you can't feel it. The other thing that was a little strange about this movie is that since it takes place in Hawaii, Cameron Crowe decided to have all of these spiritualistic Hawaiian undertones in the movie like rituals and various things that are part of the Hawaiian culture. These are all really beautiful things as depicted in the movie, and I'm not like trashing on that. I'm just saying that it really felt odd and out of place, and I think that's this movie's biggest flaw. There are so many random things thrown throughout this story that make it so inept and completely incoherent, and you just can't really feel it or follow it because they're characters who are strolling through various scene setups. That's what it feels like. Here we have this scene. Do something witty and clever. Now we have this scene. Let's talk about the Hawaiian culture. Now we have this scene. Let's talk about a satellite that was launched into space. It just doesn't mesh. The whole movie feels like this giant mess of various ideas that could have been good if they were in a coherent picture. Now that being said, despite the fact that these actors don't really work that well together, they're not giving bad performances. I think everyone's on their A game. They're just stuck in a movie that is not on the same game that they're on. And at one point in the movie, I was like, is this going to be another one of those two and a half hour comedies? Because it just felt like it was going on and on. This movie isn't even two hours long. That's not good. The pacing is not good either. Aloha was a big disappointment. I liked certain scenes in this movie. There were certain moments of charm. Some of the characters were nice and fun characters, but they just didn't fit in. And Bill Murray was a complete waste in this movie. He had nothing cool to do. He was just... Oh, I'm gonna give Aloha a C minus. It's a movie that has some clever scenes, but those clever scenes feel like just that, clever scenes. Like a good scene you might watch on YouTube that's a three minute clip, and then you don't watch the rest of the movie, and you think, well, that movie's probably pretty good, and then you watch them all strung together, and you're like, what did I just see? Guys, I'm curious to know what you thought of Aloha, if you did see it, and thank you so much, as always, for watching, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.